Hello and welcome back to this new puzzle. Today we are gonna look at Euro Australian Dollar. I just shared also the analysis on the trading view profile so we are going to look at why this trade is risky and why it can work as well. So let's break it down. It's a bit risky overall because on the daily chart we can see that price was below this structure and on the other hand we have also a big bearish candle. However the price can make up and down so we can never know when it can end up uh, definitely. So if I'm going to break it down on the 4 hour time frame we are gonna see that price was actually facing support close to the lower part of the structure. This is getting very interesting because we have some hours here. We are since uh, the midday of yesterday. 1, 2, 3, 4 and now we are having the last candles. Also the resistance area that we are looking at here was very strong as I checked it. So this is a potential movement that can happen. What is a bit risky is that we have seen Euro a bit weaker uh, these times that, and uh, what we can see is that we have the support area very close, the resistance area that was broken and we have another area. So before the price will continue to move higher I'm going to point out these areas. It has to face the resistance in both two zones. So it will come, it will make anything uh, like a type of correction and it can continue moving higher. So this is the optimistic scenario that we can face right now. As we can see on the other part we have also another part of the structure that is coming from our left. So let's see the first two ones, how they will act. What is important at this point is that this candle was very bullish right now. We are in a situation of a strong engulfing candle here. Price is trying to break out. And now we are going to break it down on the lower time frame. I'm holding this uh, trade only on the smaller time frame and we are going to look at why this is risky overall despite the fact that it can work good as well. So on this chart we can see a very nice reversal pattern so we have an inverse head and shoulder pattern here. What price can do is that it can bounce above the neckline and it can continue moving higher. This is one scenario. However, we need to be realistic with, our, with the movements. The first resistance will be faced close to 1.4365. Uh, After that we may see any correction. If this zone is going to hold, so the neckline of the pattern, after that it will continue with the next movement. However, don't forget that Euro is still very weak. So we need to see the price to hold uh, very strong above this area. Because the opposite scenario is that once the price is going to face resistance here, it can also make any invalidation and it can keep moving lower. By creating in this way the first correction that was at this part is an ABC correction. Look at what the price did actually here. So it was approximately the same movement. From the bottom price tested the first part, came down a bit and it tested the top. It can do approximately the same thing but in a wider zone here. So it can be uh, extended. Uh, we need to be careful now with the volume. It can lose as well. The stop loss for this trade can be below if you want to be conservative or below the right uh, shoulder of this pattern. So this is how what we can expect on this trade. 
so don't forget that it is risky we are still on the summer season on the other hand we don't have uh, any big event that is actually pushing euro so euro is making up and downs just to break out from the actual trend where it is stuck right now yesterday movement was a movement not with very big volume as we can see during this moment that was created yesterday all of this movement it was created because uh, it was something related with china that china is going to recover and that is why it happened because also the movement that price was actually doing here it was like a type of double bottom that was coming from the lower part of the structure I was looking at for the price yesterday morning to stop to be stopped here at this zone for a potential triple bottom because it was looking very nice and what happened is that we saw that price crawled down from this point at this moment I was expecting for the price to bounce up and we had a clear triple bottom look at the triple bottom here how beautiful was this part so a bounce above the neckline would have confirmed all of this pattern here this was only due to uh, uh, china development that they said about the economic increase uh, economic improvement and this is what we can expect right now however be careful because the the bearish scenario here is still intact it can uh, price can validate also this trade and that is why if you trade you should use the stop losses all the time this is the best place for the stops it comes as a conservative trade but it will save you on uh, the long run and until the price will make some up and downs in advance so uh, let's see how it can develop but on the other part if price is going to build momentum and if you decide to place the stop loss at break even when the price will move higher up to the second target probably you can leave it with stop at break even what can be interesting at that moment is that maximum we can see is any pullback that will not be so big and after that the price can continue with the bullish movement so this is what is expected in uh, a bigger picture you can look at that this is not impossible at all if you if the bullish move will begin it looks far away for the moment for uh, this type of movement because there are 300 pips but if you are going to move it on the four hour time frame you will see that it is not too far at all so price can be very aggressive we have seen during all these days that uh, euro is acting very aggressive but is losing momentum fast because uh, the market participants are not uh, are not all active because many are with vacations and also the institutions are not working uh, with full time let's say with the full capacity also for today let's look it today we are gonna see that price well, that we don't have any significant data from eurozone as we can see is everything empty it was only a consumer confidence that, that came down a bit lower from normal from germany the other data are not related to this trade at all so yes it can it can work out good but however be careful from the speculations that may come during these days so hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and press the like button for more future contents bye bye